Good morning class! Again, it's Teacher Floor, and today we will be discussing our Quarter 1, Week 6 lesson. Division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers with and without remainders. Sa linggong ito ay pag-aralan naman natin kung paano mag-divide ng mga numbers. Subalit bago tayo magpatuloy, balikan nga muna natin kung ano-ano nga ba ang mga parts ng division sentence. We have the dividend, the divisor, the answer is what we call the quotient, and we also have the remainder. Para mapalawak natin ang ating kaalaman sa pagdi-divide ng mga numbers, subukan nating sagutan ang learning task 1. Read and answer each item below. Number 1. The quotient is 68. The divisor is 9. Give the dividend. Sixty-eight times nine is six hundred twelve. Number two, how many fours are there in one hundred thirty? One hundred thirty divided by four is thirty-two. Number three. What will be the remainder if 261 is divided by 5? 261 divided by 5 is 52, remainder 1. So the remainder is 1. In 625 divided by 10, what is the remainder? Six hundred twenty-five divided by ten is sixty-two. Remainder five. So the remainder is five. And number five, the quotient is thirty. The dividend is nine hundred. What is the divisor? Nine hundred divided by thirty is thirty. So the divisor is thirty. Nakuha nyo ba yon mga bata? Magaling! Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan na natin ang word problem sa learning task 2. Read and analyze the example problem. Rosa collected 875 seashells to make necklaces. She used 70 seashells for each necklace. How many necklaces did she make? To find the answer, you must divide 875 by 70. Tandaan natin at sundan ang mga steps na ito sa pagdi-divide ng mga numbers. 875 divided by 70. Take the first number at the left of the dividend. If the first digit of the dividend is less than the divisor, take the first two digits. Proceed in the division process, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Repeat the same procedure up to the last digit in the dividend. If the quotient is not exact, it means that there is a remainder. Write the remainder beside the quotient. Subukan nga ulit natin mga bata. 875 divided by 70. 
Unahin natin ang 8 divided by 70 is cannot be. So, gawin na nating 87 divided by 70. 87 divided by 70 is 1. 1 times 70 is 70. 7 minus 0 is 7. 8 minus 7 is 1. Bring down 5. Next, 175 divided by 70 is 2. 2 times 70 is 140. Five minus zero is five. Seven minus four is three. There is a remaining thirty-five. Therefore, the answer is twelve remainder thirty-five. Nasundan nyo ba mga bata? Mahusay! Ngayon naman ay sagutan na natin ang learning task 3. Provide the correct answer inside the colored boxes. Magpatuloy tayo sa learning task 4. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Mahusay ang ginawa niyong pagsasagot. Ngayon naman ay pag-aralan natin ang isa pang division lesson. Dividing 3 to 4 digit numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000 without and with remainder. Learning Task 1. Let's try if you can divide numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000. Match the division sentence with its answer. Pag-aralan natin kung paano mag-divide ng numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000. Let's read and analyze this sample problem. The Boy Scouts of the Now Elementary School initiated the collection of 2,318 canned goods to be given to 10 poor families affected by Typhoon Leo. How many pieces of canned goods should each family receive? Pag-aralan natin. 2,318 divided by 10 is equal to 231 remainder 8. Mapapansin natin na ang first 3 digit ng dividend ay katulad lang ng first 3 digit ng ating quotient. At dahil 10 ang ating divisor, mapapansin natin na ang last digit sa ating dividend 
ay sharing digit ng ating remainder. Andali lang, hindi ba? Ngayon naman ay gawin nating 100 ang ating divisor. 2,318 divided by 100 is equal to 23 remainder 18. Kung napansin nyo, dalawa ang 0 ng ating divisor. Kaya, dalawa rin ang digit ng ating remainder. At ang unang dalawang digit ng ating sagot ay katulad lang din ng dalawang naunang digit ng ating dividend. Ang simple lang, hindi ba? Ngayon ay subukan nating gawing 1,000 ng ating divisor. 2,318 divided by 1,000 is equal to 2 remainder 318. Napansin nyo ba? Tatlo ang 0 ng ating divisor, kaya naman tatlo rin ang digit ng ating remainder. At syempre, ang first digit ng ating quotient ay katulad ng first digit ng ating dividend. Nakuha nyo ba ang trick, mga bata? Napakahusay! Siguradong magiging madali lang sa inyo ang pagsasagot ng learning task 2. Find the quotient. Write your answer on the white spaces beside the dividend. The number on the center will serve as the divisor. And finally, it's time to answer learning task 3. Choose the letter of the correct answer. You did a great job! Congratulations!